This is Penny, the crazy jewelry lady. And to start off with, let me show you what I've got today. This is eight pounds, 12 ounces of unsearched, well, I haven't searched it, unseen jewelry. This jewelry comes um, from a seller on Macari. I didn't get my blue box. I said, darn it, I'm getting me some jewelry. So I went on to Macari and bought some jewelry. And I bought from this same seller before. And she buys jewelry in bulk, but she makes pictures and crafts out of them. Gets what she wants and then she sells the rest. So last time she had some amazing jewelry. So I thought, well, I seen it, you know, she had some more up. So we're gonna dive in here, dive in here. Before we start, today was my Bachelor's of Science degrees graduation. And it was in Lynchburg, Virginia at 10, 10 o'clock this morning. You can watch it live, but I forgot RSVP. And I thought that was only if you were going to make the trip to Lynchburg. No, they didn't let me do a video slide. They didn't announce my name on stage. They didn't do any of that because no one told me I needed to send in an RSVP. I needed to RSVP and send in pictures. So my beautiful family that I have secretly behind my back, my girls all went out for breakfast, most of them yesterday, and I was mad. I'm like, why didn't I get to go to breakfast? They were planning this party, duh. So my husband has been talking to them about it for like um, two weeks now, some coffee. So I get up this morning to my mom and dad, which never comes out this far, and my uh, children and daughter-in-laws and husband. And I was laying in bed a little later. I usually get up at like at nine and I lay there till 9.30. My husband kept saying, no, just stay here. I'll go get you some coffee, Penny. Just stay in bed. And he cleaned the house last night. When a man cleans a house, I'm thinking, what does he want? There is something up his sleeve. So anyhow, they had me a graduation party today. I graduated from Liberty University, which was established the year I was born, 1971, with my bachelor's in science in interdisciplinary. What that means is I don't have enough credits in one major. I have a bachelor's of science, but mine is in education, psychology, and religion, Bible studies. So I started off this journey in 2005 and I was gonna be, um, I was getting my degree in Bible. At that time I was ministering at ladies meetings and you know, teaching at little Bible studies and I wanted to get my degree, I wanted to learn more. So then I thought, hmm, I kind of like education, but I really like the Bible. So anyhow, I ended up getting my associates in psychology and then I ended up having enough, um, and a lot of my bachelor's was in education. So anyhow, I had enough credits on all of those to get it, confer, or whatever you wanna call it, my bachelor's degree. Now, I've gotta decide what I wanna get my master's because I think I have, I have decided to not let my disability of hurting all the time stop me from going forward. Would really love to be able to be a professor online and work from home. And still be the crazy jewelry lady. Are we ready? Okay, up first is this pen. And it. I'm gonna try to take my time. I know that this shape here, it is called something. Um, you see them on like, um, uh, the the metal post and things in like Rome or whatever. I don't know. Maybe just crazy, but um, this shape has got a name to it. But this one looks like it's been broke and soldered back together. And I don't know if that will hurt the quality of it, but this is, this is the piece. And I am seeing this for the very first time. All I did was cut it open. And I am so super excited. I got a box yesterday that I'm going to share with y'all. 
See, every time I get some from her, there's prices. Like, this has $4. I don't know if she gets it from her local thrift, local, like, flea market thrift shop or whatever. But this is a dazzling bracelet. I could have been on the prices right. Behind door number one is a dazzling bracelet. Behind door number two is a newly soldered pen that we don't know what it is. I better just stick to blogging and being the crazy jewelry lady, huh? This is very pretty. And I'm wanting to make a picture. And I'm wanting to do a flower bouquet. These would be perfect for my flower bouquet. I want to have... And I'm going to... Um, do videos and document this as I'm going. You do chains and you go up, just like you're doing flower stems, and then you put like, find a little bow thing, would be metal, would be jewelry to put on the, as like the, the bow. And then you can put a lot of these different flowers. And if you'll go on Etsy and look up pictures made out of vintage jewelry, this one's a little broke right here, or pictures made out of jewelry, they're beautiful. They're so pretty. I'm so excited. Y'all want to see what I'm looking at? Look at all of this. I love jewelry. I love jewelry. I found some yesterday. It was 100 pounds. And if my little credit cards would have been in here, I would have gotten it. Oh, kind of got me two small little credit cards. They ain't got here yet. This is paparazzi. My mother-in-law sells paparazzi. And I'm thinking about taking all of my paparazzi, I probably have 10 of these, putting them together and doing one lot, lot of that. Next up is, and I am trying to learn what a conch, conch, conch shell, a um, capuchin, not a capuchin, that is a, is it a capuchin? But there's a certain shell, I think a capuchin is a monkey, but there's a certain shell that has, most of them are oval, and I can't remember what they're called, but that's very dazzling, dazzling darling. Here is a plastic bangle, and I have got to check it to see if it's Bakelite. Um, I did find some Bakelite in my stuff. They were earrings the other day, but I could do a plastic bangle lot. Here's just maybe broke, but it's okay. I do crafters lots as well. I like to support the other crafters, but this is a, um, I don't think it's leather. I sniff it, sniff it, see if it's leather. But I think this will go in, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in different piles. That'll go in my pile of crafter swap. I see a lot of watches in here. I don't sell individual watches, but I can put them in a group. This looks to be paparazzi. It may not be, but it, I'm also selling two pound um, good jewelry lots over on Macari and um, for like $22 or something. But if you go over there and make me an offer, you know, it's good jewelry. It's just stuff I didn't want. And um, there's a watch. I'll probably do a watch lot. A watch lot, like it's being watched. <laughs> have y'all ever heard of like the go-go kids the say abc the um um uh goodness vip kids the the mouse something mouse mouth mouse ears anyhow it's where you teach children from Beijing Bal and china and places and you have to use your hands because they don't know um any english you're teaching them English, which I got hired from ABC a couple years ago, and I'm thinking about, or last year, trying to do that again to, just to get me some more jewelry money. But we would say, hi, my name is Penny. What's your name? And that's what I feel like today I'm doing with you. <laughs> like I'm teaching y'all to speak English. All right. This is pretty. It's got little tassels. Tassel, tassels. And that looks like a tic-tac-toe board right there. We'll just call this a tic-tac-toe and see all of hers has like prices on it but this is the name on it i don't know if that means anything at all let's put it on, put it on. okay we're gonna put all the single ladies all the single ladies we're gonna put all these single earrings 
over here. And if I find matches, all right, here's this. Whatever this is, their earrings, they'll probably just go in my lot of jewelry. There's a lot of, you know, people could actually craft with the faces of these watches. You know, do it like a sundial. But you may want these. This one is, starts with a G. Genevieve or something here, I don't know. It's a somebody. These look vintage. Tell me if I'm wrong. They're yellow earrings. And it looks like somebody put, is that a band-aid? Told my husband, I said, I gotta get my nails done. I don't like looking like that. And I have a little makeup on today. And my daughter-in-law did my hair for the pictures today pictures of my cap and gown. All right, let me see what else we can get out of here. Here's another earring. This is very pretty. Like, I would sell this earring. You could probably put mm, $12, maybe on Macari for that. These match, so we're going to put these in the matching sets. Ooh, I see a Roman soldier. I see a something. See a something there. Hmm. My idea is to go and get my master's so I could teach online. I love teaching the Bible. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna get. I like, I'm between critical, creative writing, and it's pretty, and Bible to get my master's in because I wanna teach online. Let me see. What is that? And I also, is that a Roman soldier? And I also want to do one of those teachable classes where I can put slides and um, teach people how to resell and stuff. I'm doing another ring lot. I'm getting another ring lot together. I sell like, I don't know, 40 rings for 15, 20 bucks. I don't do rings, so why not? Now I have one of these already listed and this is Avon. I have thought about doing a big, huge, breast cancer bow out of the breast cancer things. I thought about keeping all these together. This is a vintage Avon and um, selling, like making a picture out of the pink, keep all the pink. This is broke, but that would be something cute if you were gonna do a picture of a, I don't know what that is. Is that prehistoric? Can you see that? It's broke on the back. I don't know what that is, but it ain't no zebra. And you know what it is. I can't wait to get and see if I can find gold in these woods. Another watch. I am so grateful for everyone that watches my videos. And I'm going to go live once I get so many subscribers. And to go live, I'm going to need a better computer. Because I don't know if I can go live on my phone. Please tell me if I can. Please tell me if I can go live on my phone because... I really want to go live and chat and thought about doing some auctions, but maybe even do silent auctions, you know, do the video. And then at the bottom of the video, say I'm going to keep this auction open for two weeks. So if you watch the video, the first person to bid on it, they get it. Keep it open for a while. Just keep it open. And then when it all sells, but then you'd have to put that jewelry aside. Okay. This is another watch but it's a clamp it's a mommy watch remember those easy things you just clamp them on clamp on that watch all right today was a good day my mom got to see my new billy goat i got a new little boy billy goat i'll have to video him and put him on here here's a beautiful earring that is so pretty i don't have my loop to see what kind of is, but I want you to see that. Tell me if you would like to me to do one of these with the camera down. My husband's going to try to make me a camera, a thing I can lay my camera in and do camera downs. That looks like the same earring, but it looks like it's bigger and it's missing something. This looks vintage. This looks great. Look at all that sparkles. I love it. It's a clip on. 
And I please talk to me about filigree. Would that be filigree or does it have to be fine jewelry? Because it, it looks like it would be called filigree to me. All right, what else we got here? Let me see. Not too tangled. Um, this says Betsy Johnson. But there ain't nothing hooked to her. Just says Betsy Johnson. Now, if you go to Google and you look at the crazy jewelry lady, Betsy Johnson comes up and then I come down way down below on the crazy jewelry lady. I'm in there with Betsy Johnson. Look at that. That may be Bakelite because this looks like a very vintage earring and that looks to be a heavier, harder plastic like Bakelite, Bakelite usually is. Here's another necklace. Very snazzy. I could do a necklace lot. There is no way I'm ever individually going to be able to list all this stuff that I have. But I love jewelry. And I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I wonder if there's a 12-way step to get us away from jewelry. See, that looks like the filigree to me, too. See all, the, all those? Cute. Um, the way the metal is the metal 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 lots of watches quartz watch and like i said i'll just put all these in a watch lot one time i did a watch lot and the guy said i just want that one watch and i'll give you the 25 dollars for that one watch and he could have just bought all of them but he said that one watch was worth it to him okay whatever here's a beaded necklace i'm trying to do a beaded lot too for people that maybe make jewelry or want the beads from them. I used to take all the beads off of the necklaces I didn't want. And I saved them. So I have a lot of beaded necklaces. I don't know if anybody would buy a beaded necklace. Could put it on eBay. Honestly, I'm trying to get away from Poshmark because I don't do well with jewelry over there. That What is that? Is that, is that a bracelet? Um, a choker. What is that? What is it? It's too small. It can fit on my little chihuahua's neck. I think I've seen that earring before. I'm trying to do that so you can see it. See a lint on me. Here's one. Now, does that look vintage or not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's vintage or not. I am trying to put up more videos. This is Cinco. That's a good name. Cinco. I think that's a good name one. Now, I had a gold watch that I got. Probably could have sold, but it was broke. And I got it uh, like 140 bucks at the... Um, Gold man on our town. Okay, look at this. It says Faith. But I want you to watch how this does. And it's slinky. Have you ever seen anything like that? Please tell me, what is that? I've never seen a bracelet like that before. It's got this symbol. Is that the Lucky brand or no? Let's see if I can. I've got, I'm at a window, but I also have a light on me. Maybe you can see that. Another plastic bangle. Don't throw them plastic bangles away just yet. And I was telling you, you could probably set up a game to where you could toss those on top of a bottle of a glass bottle and people would buy it. Okay, let me see. If you want to see my goats, I got, well, once my daughters, we got two girl goats and one boy goat. And I will do a video with my goats. Maybe I'll go out there and show my jewelry in front of my goats. That's really neat. That would be adjustable for anybody's arm. And it's got a hang tag. Is that Premier? No, it's got an M. I think that's an M. I'm going to show you the hang tag. See if you can tell me what the brand is. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. And my channel changed to Crazy Jewelry Lady, if you haven't figured that out yet. Plastic. Plastic beaded. Goodness gravy, I'm not going to get all this in. I'm going to go. 
unless you, most people just get bored and cut me off before the end. That's why I don't like to video so long. Afraid I'll bore you. But look at this. I'm gonna start telling you some really fun facts about myself because I have really lived the life of, um, really lived a life. God has been good to me. And I'm gonna tell you one fun fact about myself in every video. One fun fact is that I have been interviewed live on TBN. I was interviewed as a small town ministry in, um, and watch your love. And I'll tell you that fun, fun little fact. And my husband and my sisters went with me. And there was a lady at our church, a young girl, young girl. She was in high school. And she was like leading all the youth at prayer on the, I'll have to untangle that one, at the, at the um, flag and all. And she was just a really good girl, like really loved the Lord. So I brought her along with me. And when we got there, we had to go to Jacksonville to go to, to be on TBN. And when we got there, my husband locked himself into the car. He was not having anything to do <laughs> with being interviewed live. And we're halfway up there, we had convinced my oldest sister that it was going to be a makeover for her. She was scared. She was about ready to jump out of the car before we got there. But, um... Yeah, I met a lady that worked for TBN in our little hometown. She came to a church when I was preaching at this little church in our hometown. And she met me and she said, I feel like that you're the reason I'm supposed to have come here. And she said, I want you to come be on TBN. She had um, Joyce Myers. She had Benny Hinn, all of them that come on there. And she said, I want you to come on there and represent a small town ministry. And so I did. And four months pregnant, went to Sears, bought my dress for like 20 bucks. <laughs> I'm not rich. And um, did the interview. And she prayed with me and my sisters. And of course, my husband is in the audience finally by now after locking himself into the, the car. He's not um, an extrovert, what are you going to call it, like me. <laughs> I'm very out, outgoing. And... Um, Then I got to meet some of one of the guys that was the prayer person and all. But anyhow, I was interviewed by this, the lady that did the interview um, had all like low nails and all this makeup and this snazzy suit. And I'm sitting there in my $20 Sears outfit. I didn't care. I didn't know I was supposed to get all dolled up. I was four months pregnant. I was trying to hide that. And I wasn't trying to hide it, but. The dress kind of hit it. Now, this is all tangled. And um, I got home. And, of course, my number went across the TV for TBN. And I got home, and I got a phone call from this woman. And she said, this is how she said it. She said, girl, you're just so down to earth. I just knew if I could get a hold of you, you would pray for my son. My son, uh, something that had been my mother's son, I don't remember what it was, but she said, you are on all, you're just, you just dress so plain. <laughs> she said, you dress so plain, I knew you'd be a good person to pray for my, uh, my son. So I prayed with her on the phone. <laughs> I didn't realize people knew I was so dressed down. I'm just so, this is who you get, you know, that's, we're just, my family's just real, you know. I don't go around trying to act like I'm somebody I'm not. And my community loves me for that. That's got a little elephant. But it was just fun. It was so much fun to do. Still got something all over me. Probably for my grandbabies. They were, had Publix cake in their hands while I was at my little party this morning. But anyhow, every time I'm going to tell you a little fun fact of something that I've... This is another one with that initial. Faith, hope, and love. But do you see that M? What is that? It's the same one that was on the other one. And it says, faith, hope, and love. And me and my son was just having a huge long conversation with that. 
I've got so many stories to tell y'all about my true life that I think would inspire others. Because if you'd ever thought someone from my little old tiny town would ever be um, interviewed on TBN, it would be the furthest thing from your mind. But I have a lot of stories about my family and just miracles and things like that that or things that, you know, it, this didn't just happen by happen chance. This is cute. It's full of hearts, but I think it's supposed to be a apple cart. And I'm sure some of you are probably saying, girl, just shut up and show the jewelry. Just shut up and show the jewelry. But I just enjoy, what in the world is this? A necklace watch? Really enjoy sharing parts of my life with y'all and being so real and building a, a what in the world an honest community here and um on my blogs i'll be telling some of these stories as well because i am the crazy jewelry lady i don't know what that is because would you wear that on your neck let me see would that be on your neck could it be on your forehead Hey, what time is it? I don't know. Look at my head and let's see. <laughs> Somebody's trying to look at the time and they're like getting real close to your neck. That is, that's wacko. It's a wackadoodle. That's a wacko and a noodle, a wackadoodle. There's a lot of jewelry here, girls, boys, men, children, whoever's watching. <laughs> Whoever is watching, there is a lot of jewelry here. I don't, most of my watch viewers are women. Um, between the ages of 45 and, and up from what my analytics show me. But you know what? There is no telling who will just pop on here. Okay. And my blog did change to crazyjewelrylady.com. If you want to pop over there and read my story about my first jewelry jar. And um, now this one has an M on it. I just see a bunch of M's today. Elm, Elm, Elm. Bunch of Elms. And that one's tied up, so I'll have to fix that one. I'll do a few more pieces. This is not... Is this, a, this is a bead. It's just a single bead. Single bead. Um, This is a choker. One of my 12-year-old likes, likes those. And sometimes you don't have room here to wear a necklace and a choker just seems like the right decision. Here's, this looks vintage. Look, it's got a white tip and screw back. I don't think, please let me know, do they make screw backs now? I don't even know if all screw backs are vintage or, I learned about 1928 jewelry yesterday. It's like every day I learn something. But 1928 jewelry, I didn't know it was 40 years old. Um, I thought it was just like some new department store jewelry, but it is old. Goodness, I've got so much jewelry. I hope I get a blue box this week. I'd be so sad. Just been so sad. These are pretty. These would be pretty for like prom or a wedding, but I think it's missing a, it's missing a stone. These are Claire's, but I I think I've had a pair of those when I went to prom. Probably bought them at Claire's. Probably, probably. Broken, broken piece. I'm showing you everything. And we're just revealing everything. This says limit the limited. I know that's a store. And I'll probably list that because it's really, really nice. Probably list a lot of this stuff. Um, here's another cross. A lot of faith. Stuff about faith. Crosses. Hmm. Let me see. What in the world? How does that go? Like that, maybe? Yep. But I don't think those chains go around that. No, there's the little majiggity bob thing that you hook it. I'm going to get this. Y'all are going to see this live and in person. 
Would y'all like to see me go live? That would be fun, wouldn't it? That would be just so much fun. All right, let me see. Mm. Isn't that pretty? It's three different size. That is really pretty. It just has the regular. I hope I'm not going too fast on the jewelry because that's what my channel is all about is showing you the jewelry. And and enjoying looking at it with you. Sometimes I untangle stuff. Like this, I had to give it a rating. So I just looked in it real quick and said, okay, looks good to me. And I had to give them a, because I'm a Kari, that's what you do. What is that? One of those bi crazy bicycles with a big old wheel and a little wheel. And you get on it and it goes crazy. I could see Lucille Ball riding on that thing. It goes Lucille Ball. That is really pretty. That is a pretty, pretty brooch. Uh, found a bingo. Found a bingo. Found a bingo. All right, here's another necklace. This would probably be something I'd put in a crafter's lot. Because, well, that's kind of glass. Ceramic, whatever. Not too bad. All right, here's an earring. Didn't I see one of those already? Did we see one of those or am I just dreaming? Did I dream my earring up? See that? Do you ever do that? You see something like, I know I saw that, but you kind of just dreamed, dreamed it up. All right, so this video is getting, I'm get, I'll go to 45 minutes on this video, okay? We'll finish looking at some more of these. I usually don't go that long. Maybe you're listing. Maybe I'm encouraging you to get those listings done. Get that money because I can show you the math on how you can take just a few dollars if you continually keep, keep flipping it. That's broke. Continually keep, la, 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 la. Continually keep flipping your money. You can make a lot of money. Like you can get up to a million. And you don't have to sell it for a lot. Years ago, the this uh newspaper company started and they had their newspapers for three cents a piece and then another news company paper another newspaper company opened up and they sold theirs for a penny now you would think the one that sold theirs for three cents would have made more money but they didn't it was a one who sold theirs for a penny because that's pretty i like that that'll sell because the lower volume the more you're going to sell. And I'm not scared to say that I have thousands of pieces of jewelry. And just think if I sold them for $3 a piece. Let's just say I have 2,000 pieces of jewelry. And, you know, we all want to make that $15, $2,500 dollars mark. You know, but if we can get it down enough, low enough to flip it quickly, use that money, buy more, keep flipping, you're going to make actually more. Let's say I put this on. Let's just give, let me give you an example. Let's say I put this on for $10. Okay, I make eight if it sells, let's just say. Okay, but this other lady puts hers on for $20. Mine sells in a week. Hers takes a month. Well, I've already taken my $10, $8, bought more jewelry with it, and that $8 worth of jewelry, maybe there were um, 10 pieces worth $10 a piece. So now I've got $108 in one week, She's still trying to make the money for this. So flip your money. Keep your money flipping. This is the symbol I was trying to tell you in the beginning. That symbol. I just seen it. That like the rod iron poles and stuff like that. But don't try to get the high price. It you know, great if it's gold and that's what it's valued at. But don't be afraid to take offers. Don't be afraid to sell quick. Oh, I should have put that higher. No, you take that money. You go reinvest and you keep listing. Do not let your death pile get bigger than what you have on. I'm talking to myself right now. That's why I tried to lock a bunch of stuff together this week. But never let your death pile get out of control. Because you're not making money unless it's online and listed. And I hope that encouraged you. And here's a bingo. And I'm probably fixing to end because... 
we got a lot more jewelry. And this is probably going to take about three different um, videos to do. I am so sure. Oh, that's pretty. I don't even know if it has a name, but look, it's a heart. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. And you give love a bad name. That tells you my age. Look at that. That looks like a fingernail. It is an earring, but it looks like a fingernail. Isn't that crazy? Who makes a, who just sits around and says, I'm gonna make a plastic earring that looks like a fingernail. Maybe that is the person's fingernail. I saw online yesterday, somebody actually got a little um, container with ashes in it. Someone's ashes. It had to just be an estate sale. This is a, another one I like, because it's magnetic. I like that. Yeah, an estate sale, probably, and they were selling off someone's stuff and grandma or grandpa's or mom or dad's ashes were stuck in a little container and they got on google i mean on good on shop goodwill or somewhere or goodwill blue box this is just a stretchy bracelet and got sold off lord if that ever if you ever get something with my name on it just take me to every yard sale with you and just put pieces of my ashes at all the yard sales. I would just be happy. All right, so we didn't find some of the matches of the earrings, so I will just set them aside for when we come back and look again. Um, the ones that do have matches, we don't need to see those again, but I am going to go for now. My hair, this hair's too, this hair's too thick. Um, and Jesus and coffee. That's what I run on. <laughs> All right. So this is the crazy jewelry lady. If you want to see anything else, please comment below. I do try to answer all my comments. My email is going to be listed below. It's crazy jewelry lady 2021 at gmail.com. If you want to, you know, um, chat with me there or have a question or anything, my subscribers are low now. I can actually get on there and um, take a personal time and talk with you. All right. Well, this is the crazy woman saying goodbye and be blessed.